One of the things most people enjoy in Final Cut Pro 10 is the magnetic timeline, the main timeline. But there are times where you want your clips to be lifted from this timeline to create masking, uh, masking transitions, or you want to connect different sound effects and sound clips. So, on this video, I'm going to cover four different methods where you can lift your videos from the timeline. Hello and welcome! For those of you who are watching me for your first time, I'm Emilio Takas and I post videos here on filmmaking tips, tutorials, gear reviews and much more. So if you're into this kind of stuff, consider subscribing to my channel and also ring the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Now, let's go into Final Cut Pro 10 and lift some videos! We are in the Final Cut Pro 10 interface and the first method to insert a video above the main timeline, the magnetic timeline, is by selecting the clip that we want to insert and press Q in our keyboard. As we see here, we have the video above the timeline and here we have a gap. The second method now is by inserting first the gap into the timeline and then the video. We're going to do that by pressing Alt or Option in our keyboard with W. And as we see here, we have inserted the gap. And now we're dragging the clip above the gap. The third method to do that is by pressing Command, Option and the top arrow in our keyboard. And as you see, the gap is automatically created here. And we can grab this video and put it wherever we want it. One last method to bring a clip above the main timeline is by pressing P in your keyboard and with a left click, drag the clip above the timeline. One note here, if you have an audio attached to that video, let's say here we have a sound effect attached to this video and you're pressing P in the keyboard and try to bring it above the timeline, it will not work. So keep in mind that if you want to use the method with P in your keyboard, uh, it's not going to work if you have audio attached. The only method that will work is by pressing Command Option and the top arrow in our keyboard and you can have separate the audio and the video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up as it helps a lot to my channel and also if you have any questions, I'm waiting for them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.